When you're thinking of if a banner is worth it, you're kind of penny pitching at that point. And that's kind of the point when it comes to gotchas. You do not want to spend that much money. And when you're thinking about spending that money, again, you want it to be worth it. Yes, a five star could be absolutely great, but your four star pool could be absolutely garbage. Take this for example, two out of the three four star units are actually, in my opinion, and in a lot of other people's opinion, trash. So let's talk about that. But before we get into it, make sure to hit that like, comment, subscribe. Go ahead and hit that notification bell to be notified when the next video comes out. And of course, leave a comment about what you think about these units. And don't forget, I'm sponsored by the ever wonderful gamer subs. Use code Tystra for 10% off. Today, I actually made a little concoction. Uh, I did my three scoops of goof juice, but I added some lime juice in there and also put in a liquid death, which is fantastic. It came out really good. Mm. So delicious. So let's go ahead and talk about this. So when I say two out of the three four star units are trash, I do truly mean that. And we're going to talk about that by adding something else into uh, this fact, into this type of video, because I, I haven't added this into the videos really, but let's first talk about Arlen and Arlen, in my opinion, is one of, if not the worst unit in the game. And it's not to say that he's a bad character, it's just more so his, his, it's, his kit just doesn't last. Like comparatively, like you look at some, like, look at this, right? You look at this and it's all single sentences, which it normally like lesser could mean better. Uh, but it's not really when it comes to Honkai Star Rail. If you're, if you have a little bit less going on in your kit, you're not really going to do much. Now, am I saying that the more words in your kit, the better? Absolutely not. But what I am saying is that when your kit is so basic, and all you're doing is taking away your own HP to do some damage every once in a while, it's not helping your case. Like, you know, for example, uh, consumes Arlen's HP equal to 50% of his max HP and to deal lightning damage equal to 300% of Arlen's attack to a single enemy. If Arlen does not have sufficient HP, his HP will be reduced to one after using his skill. And that's just with the skill. Uh, ultimate deals lightning damage equal to 384% of Arlen's attack to a single enemy and lightning damage equal to 192% of Arlen's attack to enemies adjacent to it. Now, Arlen is, of course, a destruction unit. So if you're looking for something to hit multiple targets, yes, Arlen works. But let's go ahead and kind of go over towards the tier list. Now, this is Pride Wins tier list, right? So it doesn't mean that necessarily like it's the best tier list out there, but Pride Wind has been known to really take into account a lot of, you know, factors. Now, when you look at this, we're going to look at Memory of Chaos, Pure Fiction, and Apocalyptic Shadow. You look at Mary, Memory of Chaos when it comes to your damage dealers, and Arlen is right down there with Yang Queen, right? And even, you know, Trailblazer Physical, which is pretty bad. Now, that's a four star, and I think it I think it says something that, you know, Yang Queen is actually tier five as a five star, but I digress. So Arlen's down there, right? Let's go to Pure Fiction. Oh, look, he's down there again, alongside Don Hung this time. But this is for Pure Fiction, which Pure Fiction is like, you want to deal as much damage to multiple characters as much as possible. Uh, people like, you know, obviously, we got Himiko here, we got Herda, Argenti, Akron. You know, you want to be able to do as much damage to as many enemies as possible. Then we have Apocalyptic Shadow. And there's apparently no tier zero damage dealer. What the H? Um, but of course, Akron's up there. Let's go, baby. But look who's at the bottom again. Arlen. Arlen is legitimately the worst unit in the game. If not, it's Trailblazer Physical, which is crazy. So to me, Arlen is not worth your buck. But what about Hook? Hook is not worth your buck. There are so many different destruction like units like even if i were to like look through some of these right like if we where's destruction boom so let's look at all the destruction characters we have because hook is down there at tier three for apocalyptic shadow she's at tier four for pure fiction and in memory of chaos she's in tier four so she's just as bad not as bad as arlen pretty bad we got characters like firefly and Fibiter lune jing liu yun li Hell, you could even go with, you know, Zhui Yi or even like a Misha ab above them in uh, Memory of Chaos. But Misha's pretty bad too, in my personal opinion. 
and also in Braided's opinion as well. Zhui Yi is like just better as the four star. So there's not really a lot of destruction four stars to like really consider as good. So you're kind of stuck with either Arlen or Hook unless you get Misha or Zhui Yi, which Zhui Yi we got free in the la in this last update. So I think that's or is it this update we got a free Zhui Yi? I think it's actually this update that we get a free Zhui Yi. So you should be going for her. Um, but overall, Hook is just not great. She does uh, fire damage, uh, afflicts characters with burn, so on and so forth. That's really it. She's not really doing that much for your account. So to me, both Arlen and uh, Hook are just trash. One unit that I don't think is trash, though. Gwenaifen. And Gwenaifen's going to suffer from something totally different, right? And it's going to be the same thing for that other person as well. So Gwenaifen is an Nihility Fire unit. If it doesn't if it doesn't tell you what exactly it is, like Jiao Q or Jiao Cho is Nihility Fire. So if you're going for Nihility Fire, you want to go for the 5-star. But if you get Gwenaifen, that also hurts your, like, that hurts the overall. And this is what I don't like about this manner is it just seems like it has more problems than anything else, right? If you summon for Jiao Cho and you get a Gwenaifen, you basically already got what you need as a Nihility Fire Unit. Now, granted, is Gwenaifen as good as Jiao Cho? Not even close. But if you're going for typing and such, like, really, you've already got it with Gwenaifen. But Jiao Cho is pretty freaking amazing, and we'll get to him in just a second. But... That's the problem with this banner is there's a lot of reasons why the four stars aren't worth it because either A, they're terrible, or B, you're going for the five star anyway. Now, Gwenaifen, like I said, is not that bad. Gwenaifen uh, deals fire, uh, on skill, deals fire, fire damage to 150% of Gwenaifen's attack to a single, well, we'll just read the easy synopsis. Single enemy and minor fire damage to adjacent enemies with a high chance of burning them. Uh, on the ultimate, deals fire damage to all enemies. If the enemies are inflicted with burn, the burn status deals uh, damage one extra time. Uh, basically, just being able to do consistent amounts of damage over time, right? But, as I said before, Gwenaifen becomes obsolete if you're summoning for the banner and all you're pulling is Hook and Arlen and then your five star is Jiaocho. So, like, Gwenaifen just becomes obsolete right there. At least if you were to put a four star that wasn't a Nihility Fire unit, you might get some more uses out of it. But like the four stars in this banner are just trash. But what isn't trash is the five stars. Let's go ahead and talk about Sparkle first. Sparkle is pretty dang good, especially for like what she's able to do as a harmony unit. She is, like I just said, a harmony, but quantum unit. So I believe if I remember correctly, right? Quantum was the first element or combat type to actually get a unit in each and every path. I could, I, I'm probably wrong on that, but if I remember correctly, that's what I remember. So that's pretty cool. Uh, she increases all allies crit damage and advances actions forward, recovers skill points, which is four skill points every time she uses her ultimate and enables damage boost provided by uh, Sparkle's talent to be additionally enhanced. If you look at the talent, uh, increase the team's maximum skill points, which increases it to seven. Uh, whenever an ally consumes skill points, enables all allies to deal more damage. So she's really good to put on a team with someone like an Imbibitor Lune, uh, Jing Liu, teams like that. And honestly, if you look at like where to put her, like Memory of Chaos, uh, where is she? Oh, wait, I only have destruction units. Let's go ahead and star everybody real quick. Uh, she's literally up there for Memory of Chaos. She's up there for Pure Fiction. And where is she on here? Is she lower on here? Or am I just... Oh, she's right there. Okay. She is a little bit lower, but still pretty dang useful, right? What about Gwenaifen? We didn't look at Gwenaifen. So we're on Apocalyptic Shadow. Where's Gwenaifen at? Gwenaifen's in the tier two. Still really good. Uh, Pure Fiction... Tier 2. Okay, okay, okay. And then Memory of Chaos. Tier 2. Okay, so she's definitely way better than the other two four stars. But uh, as you saw, like, Sparkle is floating in that 0.5 range or 0 0.5 range. And then Tier 1 over here. She's still really, really good. I love Sparkle. She's hot, too. I'm just saying. Um, but yes, let's go ahead and move on to Zhao Cho. Zhao Cho. Uh, this guy is pretty bonkers in his own right, right? 
So, on a skill, deals fire damage to a single uh, enemy and minor fire damage to adjacent with a high chance to inflict one stack of Ash and Roast on the primary target. Um, let's see, where is the Ash and Roast? There we go. Sets, sets the number of Ash and Roast stacks to enemy targets to the highest number of Ash and Roast stacks present. Uh, then activates the zone and deals fire damage to all allies or all enemies. When inside the zone, enemy targets receive increased ultimate damage with a chance of being inflicted with one stack of Ash and Roast. Where is this Ash and Roast? I need to know what Ash and Roast is. After attacking, there's a high chance to inflict one stack of Ash and Roast to the target, causing the enemy to take increased damage and also be considered as burned at the same time. I was looking for the like description of Ash and Roast, so there we go. It's basically dealing more damage over time. Um, and then for his ultimate, uh, that's what we were talking about, receiving more ultimate damage. So he's pretty dang good in his own right. He basically will debuff or increase or that debuff increase. I'm literally wrong on both things. Buff your character's damage overall with Ash and Rose. The only thing that sucks is that for me, Jiao Cho is always talked about being this, you know, uh, war medic, like a battle healer. He's, it's all in the story, right? So why can't he heal? Apparently he used to be able to. Uh, does he heal in any of his uh, stuff? Let's see. Uh, enemies that turn in number of stack. No. Anything else here? Let's see. Immediately regenerates energy. That's technically considered healing, right? 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 No, not the case. Uh, but yeah. Jiao Cho cannot heal, and he is a battle healer. A Foxian healer healer you know how cool it would have been to actually have a nihility healer it would have been insane so i'm off my rant box soapbox whatever you want to call it should you summon for Chow Cho and sparkle in my opinion no and the only reason why i'm saying that is while both of these five star units are really really good right Sparkle's considered top tier. Jiao Cho is, is going to be like the one of the best Akron supports. So if you want an Akron support, yeah, you should totally sub for Jiao Cho. If you want uh, a really good like harmony unit that's going to work well with your destruction units, Sparkle is great. However, if you look at it from the perspective of is the banner worth it? No. These four stars are not great additions to your teams except for Gwenyphon. Gwenyphon is a great addition to somebody's account. But otherwise, if you're looking at uh, Hook and Arlen, you're losing out on so much like potential for future uh, banners, right? Especially with Fei Zhao and Lingxia right around the corner. I don't know, man. I, I hate saying that this isn't worth it because I want Zhao Cho myself and I'm going to be summoning for Zhao Cho um, because you guys won't let me not summon. I'm just kidding. Uh, but I would definitely say like in general, like the banner's not worth it. The four stars are terrible and the five stars are great, but you need to have specific units for them. Like Jiao Cho needs Akron, uh, Sparkle needs a Imbibitor Lune, Jing Liu, characters like that. So I don't know. Let me know in the comments down below if you're going to be somebody for these characters. Would love your opinions on this. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Thank you so much. And we will see you in the next video. Please take care and be safe.